21 Alive First Alert Forecast. Good Friday morning. Waking up to some wet roadways and even some light rain early this morning. Thanks to the cold front, it's draping across the Midwest. 40s and 50s on the other side of this, dropping our temperatures throughout the morning. We even have a few spotty showers at the moment with more filtering in from the southwest. Very light rain across our area right now. In fact, a few good chunks of dry air also mixed in here. But all of this moisture down to the south will slowly pull in and bring in more chances for rain showers for pretty much the first half of the day. By about 930, you see that filling in just a little bit more, like I mentioned, pushing in from the southwest. But the thing to note is rain moves in from the southwest, but this system is actually clearing from west to east. So watch the general line of the last showers. It's pushing out. In fact, I think by about 1230, places like Kosciuszko County that have seen the rain first, LaGrange County, Noble County, you could be completely dry, while over in northwest Ohio, it takes you a little bit longer to see some of the more widespread, heavier showers. But you're probably going to hold on to those rain chances just a little bit longer today. So those chances for rain showers are slowly pushing off towards Ohio. It takes a little bit of time. Even in northwest Ohio, you can see a couple of those overnight showers that could even push in towards Decatur and burn. As we go into early tomorrow morning, a few light showers still circulate in the area, and we even have chances for spotty showers throughout the first half of the weekend. Saturday, unimpressive in terms of rain, but nonetheless still staying up with us and staying a little bit more consistent over the next 48 hours. So it just goes to show having the umbrella handy, not the worst case in the world. In fact, you can already see the difference that this cold front has made. Northwest Ohio, 60 degrees in Oakwood, 52 in Fort Wayne, already down into the 40s in Warsaw. Yeah, temperatures are cooling off west to east, and that trend of 40s is really settling in. By about mid-morning, 10 o'clock, we're looking at temperatures anywhere from the 40s to the northwest of Fort Wayne and 50s down towards the southeast. But as we go through the rest of the day, 40s and 50s hold a little bit more consistently. We'll slowly bump down and then wind back up, making our way into the 50s, even a few places hitting the mid-50s. Before late tonight into tomorrow, we end up back in the 40s. That's pretty much the trend over the weekend. Our average high is 63 degrees. We're trending anywhere from 10 to close to 20 degrees below that. And even this weekend, we have the chance for widespread frost. So today, we're looking at temperatures rounding back out into the 50s, although we've already hit our high temperature early this morning before most people are awake, where we went into the 60s. Now we are crashing back down. We'll deal with a few periods of rain showers. The best chance for rain, like I mentioned, the first half of the day. But if you live east of Fort Wayne over in northwest Ohio, you're holding on to those rain chances a lot longer. Over the weekend, 50s for Saturday, 40s for Sunday, a much colder day as we only work our way into the mid 40s. But overnight, we crash below freezing. 31 is the low, widespread frost possible late Sunday into early Monday morning. So keep that in mind for any of the gardeners and farmers out there in case anyone got a little eager with the planting. Into next week, temperatures are in the 50s. And if we do warm up a bit more, we could see perhaps a 60 degree day or two kind of mixed in with that forecast. But at least for now, a little bit more consistency with temperatures in the 40s and 50s over the next week. Okay, Liz, thank you so much.